guys and welcome to my channel and today we're doing a mod review um so there is two different mods in here mostly because they each take a little bit of time for them each to really show the effects of so i decided to go ahead go with it and uh, we're doing both of them together um so the first mod that i have is automatic beards which is, sounds super cool um, and then the next one is Sim City Loans. So especially if you already have like um, SNB Bank from um, by the Sim Realist, um, I don't know if it'll work together. I haven't. I didn't even look at the front page. Maybe on the front page it'll tell me if if it's compatible or not. Um, either way, the way that this works is that essentially you can take out a loan in your Sim's name and then. You have to make like, I think it's daily payments. Um, I was planning on getting them each alone and then also having um, our one male adult in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead, get him set up with his beard real quick and then we're gonna look at getting a loan. All right, so he has black hair. So he's gonna have a black beard. So by the way, um, there is two mods that is required in order to make um, the automatic beards work. They are both not, to they're, they're not readily to available together. I didn't know that. So here we are. <laughs> and um, I mean, they're both available from the same page, but you really have to read the instructions on it. Um, it is the XLM, what, what is it? The X XML injector. So you will need that in order for the automatic beards to work. Because if you don't have it, it doesn't show up at all in your game. I found this out the hard way. So make sure that you're reading all the instructions like you should and um it'll it even has like a little link there um i'll have it linked down below as well this way you can hit both at the same time um but it's designed this way it can be used with custom content it's designed to be used with um no custom content so regardless um you can have all these different choices so it gives you all the different default hair colors for uh, EA, and then there's also one here that says disable beard. So if you don't want them to grow it at all, so maybe the, maybe your sim's really good at maintaining what they do, you don't wanna have to maintain it yourself, um, you can just hit disable. But we're not doing that today. Um, so we're gonna hit black here, cause he has black hair. Um, his beard color has been changed. So he has this little bit of like goatee-ish style around his face already and so with that it um that will stay even if he shaves because this is classified as a lipstick quote unquote for men um so it goes on as that swatch so instead of covering the actual facial hair it's designed to blend in over time so eventually it will get so thick it will just cover what's already there. So if at one point you want your sim to go completely clean shaven and they had a goatee when you first started, you're going to have to go back into cast up. Um, actually, I don't think you'll even need cast up full edit mode. You should just need the regular um, create a sim to be able to change them so this way they don't have facial hair. Because that should be something you should be able to change by itself. Um, so I'm going to check also to see where we get a loan from. Uh, that's university. Okay, do they have a computer? Oh, they do have a computer. Beautiful. Um, so let's see. I it didn't say on there where. Oh, right there on right on the computer. Sim City Loans. Let's apply for a one thousand dollar loan. Oh, so we get different amounts of payments. Okay, so maybe we can do a what? Ooh, it's it's not in order. It does not go in order of amount. So it goes to one ten a hundred. Then it goes twenty five a quarter of a million, 5,000, 50,000, and 500,000. So let's do a loan of 5,000 over 12 payments. So let's see if he was a loan approved. SimCity Bank has approved Todd's loan application. He must repay this loan plus 5% interest before taking out another loan. All right, so he has his loan. He just received that money. Um, let's see. Oh, he gets even a little moolah. It says approved loan. Uh, SimCity Bank approved Todd's loan application. Don't get too happy, though. He now has regular payments to make in order to pay off the loan. All right, so from the way I understand it... Okay, so I just want to keep track. It is 1030 right now in-game, so in case it comes out at, like, the same time, I'm not sure. Um, on here, it, it had some information, but I didn't, like, fully read through every single little thing. Um... 
because this it says there's penalties if you wait 48 hours which sounds super fun so um yeah, it doesn't say anything about like when it takes the money out or um how often it will not be able to be deleted is what it says though. I want to I want to see if I can delete it though. Where is Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, he can't take that out at all. Okay, so he can do a full repayment or he can just make a payment. So I want to see if I can have her approved for, oh, she hates children. That's right. I forgot. Uh, can you please come sit down over here? And then I want to see if she will be approved for a $500,000 loan. Because that's probably the most likely to be denied. Over 12 payments. I don't know what it goes off of. I don't know if it goes off how much money you actually already have. Or what your lot value is. That kind of thing. So we're going to we're gonna find out here personally. <laughs> Why was she approved for a five hundred thousand dollar loan? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so she could do a full repayment of five hundred thousand, or she can make a payment of forty three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Whoo, that's a little crazy. That's a little crazy. Okay. Okay, I kind of like this idea though, because it really helps with the idea that maybe your Sims. Um, Especially with university just coming out. Maybe they had to get a loan in order to be able to find a place to live and be able to afford books and be able to afford um, food and a bed and that kind of stuff. Or maybe they bought a house. Maybe your sim bought a house. I don't know how often the payments are, though. So we're going to find out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to kind of let the game run for a little while. And I'll catch back up with you guys after we've had some time pass. Alrighty guys, so it's been about um, three quarters of a day. It hasn't been a full 24 hours. It's been about 18 hours, but it looks like he's already starting to get like that, that like five o'clock shadow kind of thing going on. Um, so again, I'm going to let the game continue to run because I haven't had any pop-ups yet for the SimCity loans. So hopefully that comes up here pretty shortly and uh, we can find out about that too. Alrighty guys, so it looks like he's grown like a full amount of stubble kind of on his face. It looks like he's kind of like in between um, like the very beginning of a beard, but he's definitely past clean shaven. So I'm going to let him actually kind of like run his um, run his hygiene. Oh, his hygiene's not going to run down. God dang it. What are you doing? Uh, no, can you can you do like a does being energized like not cause them to lose like any health or like like hygiene or whatever? Like, because I want his hygiene to go all the way down, but I can't, I can't get it to go, so. Um, again, nothing, again, still nothing about the SimCity loans. Um, it's been a full 24 hours, so this is definitely getting kind of interesting. I was kind of hoping his hygiene would have been ran down enough, because there's supposed to be another moodlet that says, um, that, um, they will get itchy if they're kind of, like, in that, that stubble stage. Um. So I was trying to see if we can get his hygiene down, but it's not going anywhere. Also, she doesn't seem too concerned. Does this tell you, like, when it's due? It just says 12 loan payments left. You can destroy this packet when you pay off your loan. But it does say, SimCity loan packet. This packet includes information regarding your $500,000 loan, including a payment coupon book to make and keep better, keep better track of your payments. Raj, no. Can you please stop calling us getting kind of weird now buddy um so again i'm just gonna kind of let it run until like the sim city loan thing kind of kicks in because i want to see how long it takes because we got it on saturday and uh it is now currently sunday it is more than 24 hours so i guess we'll just get stuck waiting and seeing oh what's this oh no music oh but now because he also has stubble by the way when you click on the sink there's an option for trim or shave and so right now because he doesn't have a full beard it just says shave face so it would just cause his face to shave all the way down in fact you know i'm gonna do that while i wait for him because i want to see what the interaction looks like okay you can turn that off okay go shave your face Oh, wow, so they actually get, like, a full thing. Oh, it looks a little creepy, to be honest. But they get a full thing of, like, shaving cream. And, of course, a razor. 
Ah, very nice. And now he gets a movelet called Babyface from shaving. A refreshing shave and clean appearance will brighten any Sim's mood. Very nice. I like it. I like the customization from that. So I'll catch back up with you guys whenever it finally kicks up. Hey guys, we're back. So it looks like you'll actually get a, a notification when your loan payment is due because it's about 1030. So it looks like it's 48 hours. So it says Todd has a loan payment due. Click on the loan packet in his inventory to make a payment. If he doesn't make a payment within 24 hours, a 5% late fee will be deducted. Um, and so now he also has a um, moonlit, which says it becomes overdue in 24 hours. So I'm going to have one sim make a payment and the other sim not to make a payment. Because I kind of want to know like what um, what happens and uh, we're going to see there. So I'm going to have him make a loan payment because he's got the smaller loan. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to have him pay some bills though. I wanted to see if we could pay it like on here, but it doesn't look like it looks like we'll have to use the coupon book. Knowing your scholarship, what? No, I didn't. I didn't click on that. Uh, make a payment. And it says we also got mail. What kind of mail did we get? Oh, nothing has been delivered. All right, so he made a payment of four hundred and thirty-eight dollars to the Sim City Bank for his active loan. So of course now it says eleven loan payments left, and hers should be popping up here anytime soon. Yep, there, sirs. Eliana has a loan payment due. Click on the loan pack in her inventory to make a payment. All right, so she will get a 5% late fee if it's not paid by, it looks like 12 noon tomorrow, because um, that's approximately when she took the loan out. So I'm just going to wait the full day, and then uh, we'll see what happens next. Alrighty guys, so I wasn't paying attention and I kind of like missed it, um, but it says loan payment overdue. It says Eliana didn't make her loan payment on time. Make a payment soon to relieve the stress and avoid additional late fees. So I didn't see, I didn't see that money come out, although it does look like they have less money. I'm sure it was there. I just missed it. Um, so I'm going to see... Um, just how long she can like keep going like this because now she has a bad moodlet, doesn't she? Yeah, loan payment overdue. Eliana didn't get her loan payment on time. Make a payment soon to relieve this stress and avoid additional late fees. So, apparently, I've been playing the mod testers for five hours. <laughs> Like, five hours? Jump change! I just recently discovered I have 1300 hours on my Sims 4 game, so. But, uh,. And I would say he doesn't have a loan payment due, so it looks like every 48 hours is when it's going to request a loan payment due. So, it's one of those we just have to wait and see. Um, but, I think there's a new option. Um, so, let's take a look here. Okay, I don't see it here. Apparently, there's supposed to be a way... Um, I don't know if uh, we can have somebody else take like I know there's a way to have them take over the loan that's what it said um so I don't know if it's an option in here or if it's um I'm not really sure how to do it, it she doesn't really go into a lot of detail on it in the post like I've read the post now like three times while I'm waiting for um time to pass by in the sims um and I haven't found it yet. Um, it looks like the only thing that I really would be missing from this is the possibility of getting rejected, especially if your sim maybe has a late payment history or maybe if um, their funds are always down at zero. Um, I think the main thing that would have to come into play is late fee, um, like late fee, punishments i mean what would really come in handy is if if they had a late fee and then it caused them to be less likely to get a bigger loan so maybe you can have them start out with maybe they can get up to i don't know maybe fifty thousand dollars and then they're able to get approved to up to that amount and then after that they have to complete a loan in order to get a bigger loan that would be the best option i think but um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to post that on the little thread that she has going, um, but then after that, I mean, 
whatever she chooses to do is going to be up to her. Um, and by the way, I totally forgot to name both of the creators of each of the mods. And so the automatic beard mod is by Flurb on Mod the Sims. Like I said, that link is down below. And Sim City Loans is by Scarlet Queen Cat. So, like I said, they're both going to be linked. Um, so in case you're interested, you can just go ahead. You can download them. Um, I think I might keep the loan one. I think it's very interesting. I might. I really like it. Um, because if my Sims don't need it, I won't download it. I won't use it. Um, and it's one of those things that it adds a little bit of realism to the game where you could have them essentially apply for a mortgage, quote unquote, especially since now we can move Sims out of households and have no money. Um, you could even have them buy the land and then have them, um, um, have them buy the land and then they get a like you zero out their money and you can buy you can get a loan for a house i mean that'd be pretty cool i mean maybe that's how it would start from college i don't know it there's a lot of things that would have to like come into play for that but i really like the idea of it so i don't know i might see about like trying it out like maybe on stream or something and we'll see how well it works out oh dear jesus that was a late fee eliana did not make a loan payment in time so it looks like it's an additional seven hours after um, after the loan was due is when the money got deducted. It says, Eliana did not make a loan payment in time. Therefore, a 5% late fee, 2,188 simoleons, has been deducted from the household funds. Please make a payment soon to avoid more late fees. Well, I'm glad I kind of stuck around. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and have her make another payment. Or make a payment. Okay, so she made a payment to them. I want him to pay his loan off in full. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. He has to just kind of keep making payments until um, it's paid off. Five loan payments left. That kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping... Oh. And then he destroys it. Oh, cool. Okay. Dang it, I hit the wrong button too quick. Okay, so it says debt paid. Congratulations, Todd has paid off his SimCity bank loan. Now that he is debt free, he can destroy the loan packet in his inventory. And so I was also reading in the comments that you cannot destroy the loan packet until after every single loan is made or every single payment is made. And then on top of that, you can't get a new loan until the packet is destroyed. So just keep that in mind um, if you decide to download it. But... It seems like a pretty cool mod. I might have to give it a try, though. Um, especially because on Twitch, I have a teen that's going to get ready to go to college here very, very soon. And I kind of want to see if we can get it to work, you know? Um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right here, guys. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Yeah, his beard has grown back in, or his stubble has grown back in again. Um, there's three settings on this, by the way. So you can have it set to a normal lifespan where they would get to a full or a medium beard in three days on a normal lifespan or it takes one and a half days on a short lifespan or 12 and a half days on a long lifespan so depending on what your settings are like your sim might grow a beard faster slower that kind of thing so uh just kind of keep that stuff in mind but it seems very interesting i like both i probably won't keep the beard mod though I'm not that interested in keeping up with my Sims, um, but it seems really cool. So, um, but definitely keep that in mind. I'll pro I'm probably going to see about keeping the loan one. I think it's really neat. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. So if you have any mods that you suggest um, that you would like me to check out and uh, play with here on the channel, definitely leave those linked down below. I'll say... Or just, you know, type in the name of it where I can find it. That'd be great. Um, all my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love it if you can stop in. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, as I said, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me and the channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys! Hey guys, make sure you check out the videos listed right here on the screen. I mean, who knows? It could be your next favorite. And to make sure you don't miss any videos, if you hit that subscribe button right there in the center, it'll sign you up for notifications. Come on, hit that subscribe button. It'd mean the world to me.